I'm hunting for a creature behind the myth of a child-killing monster, the Kappa. It's a creature known locally as the Hanzaki, and I think I'm just about to come face to face with it. I have caught a Hanzaki, better known as the giant Japanese salamander, one of the largest salamanders in the world, and the creature that I believe is behind the Kappa legend. They get bigger than this, but wow, this creature is aggressive, even though we mean it no harm. The good thing is that these guys, unlike fish, are just as at home on land as they are in the water. Pretty soon, he calms down. That is a Hanzaki noodled. And I'm very pleased, even with my gloves on, my hands stayed away from that mouth. Uh, he wasn't too amused by the fact that he was just pulled out of his hole like that. But this, I think, is the creature I've been after. Looks a bit like a fish, but it's got hands. And that's exactly what this has got. Mr. Toshimoto is monitoring the health of the Hanzaki population along this river. Four, five, it's nearly 10 pounds. Measuring, weighing, and micro-tagging every one of his catches. Just counting all the digits, all normal. So that when he recaptures them, he can build up a clear picture of how this incredibly rare animal is faring in the wild. Best part of a yard long. And now we have collected a new one for his study. This is an animal that hasn't been caught before. It doesn't have a chip in it. So that's a really good capture. Normally, I wouldn't be allowed to touch this, but the fact that I'm acting as uh, Mr. Toshimoto's assistant means that I'm able to work with this animal. There are only a few pockets of these endangered giant salamanders left in the wild, these creatures that haven't changed since the age of the dinosaurs. Their survival is an important part of Japan's natural heritage. And when I try to release it, this national treasure still makes one last attempt to bite me before disappearing, unfazed by his capture. 